All right, Mark Adams here, EC Basketball Media Day 2023. First of all, Mark, uh, Coach Mark, I should say, welcome to Greenville. Well, thank you, Chandler. I appreciate it. I, I, we, my wife and I love it here and uh, love the weather, the people, and everybody's been so hospitable. It just, uh, you would think that I'm a, I'm a already, a, that I was born out here in North Carolina because everybody's just opened us with welcome arms. But uh, we've enjoyed, uh, the, you know, been here about three months, and I feel like I've been here a year and I feel at home. Well, I remember getting the news that Mark Adams was joining the staff, and the first thing I kind of was thinking is, what, what's the connection between you and Coach Schwartz? Yeah, you know, our connection, if you, you know, we're somewhat a little bit from the same family tree. Um, I've known Coach Barnes for a long time. He was out at Texas, and so he's always been a mentor. And so, you know, through Coach Barnes, I've known a lot about Coach Schwartz. But the, the real uh, connection is Riley Davis. Riley played for me. Riley's near like he's – I nearly call him a, you know, a second son to him. He just loved the guy we kept up uh, over the last, you know, 15 years. And and he, you know, again, he loves Coach Schwartz. And I know a lot about the program, know about him. So this is a, I want to go someplace where I could uh, feel at home, feel needed, and uh, feel like I can make a difference. And, and uh, boy, I, I, God's blessed me. I'm, I'm right where I need to be. The first thing that we found out when Coach Schwartz was hired is that he hangs his hat on defense. And when you got hired, I was like, well, there's the connection there because you're a big defensive guy. So did that play a big part in coming here and trying to kind of emphasize your defensive schemes here at East Carolina? You know, it really did, Chandler, because, it, you know, if you're in a system where the, the focus and the priorities on, you know, in a certain other area, whether it, it could be different different type of defense zone or fast, you know, where you're pressing and, and um, you know, just the tempo of the style. But uh, I love Coach Schwartz, the way they've guarded in the past, and we have so many similarities in our, in our styles of play and our philosophy. So it's an easy fit for me. And, and, and I work for Tubby Smith, who's a great coach, Chris Beard. And uh, but and they you know they like defense, but Coach Schwartz loves it. You know, he has a passion for it, like I do. So uh, I'll ask you this: something that here at East Carolina that we have not seen in a while, and that is staying intact. Um, what we've seen in the past is people leaving. It seems like every year there's a new team. Besides one guy transferring out, we do have some new guys with you know Cam Hayes, Bobby Pettiford, uh, the freshmen that we have coming in. Uh, but a lot of these guys played here last year and started. I think Coach Schwartz said that there's like seven guys that started last year on last year's squad. So uh, talk about the chemistry of this yeah. team and uh, what you see out of this team as we're 18 days away from tip-off. Yeah, it's interesting you say that, Chandler, because the, the first thing that, that really stuck out with me is that we have eight guys back. Seven of them were, you know, started at some point. But to have that many returners at, at you know, school here, uh, that you know, because you, now you've got the, the transfer portal, and, and with NIL, kids are just they always think the grass is greener someplace else, and it's hard to keep players intact. And that's not good for the team, for the players, or for the fans. But it just says a lot for this coaching staff that they're able to to be able the retention here to keep so many kids here that they're doing things the right way, they're developing the right way, and they appreciate it. So I was excited to see we have a good core of guys. And uh, you know you've got you know you've got guys like uh, Ezra that's uh, can play multiple positions and and uh, Brandon that's uh, you know both those guys with size and and then you've got uh, you know you you've got a guy uh, like Jaden that can you know that's uh, six foot five two we we got length we got athleticism with this team so uh, you know Quentin's a great athlete so I, these we like to switch a lot on defense and and, and pressure and so these guys can play most positions and then we feel like put a lot of pressure on the ball. I'll leave you with this question. It might be the toughest question I ask you. Texas barbecue or Eastern North Carolina barbecue? <laughs> you know, uh, that's a great question because barbecue is famous out there, as you know, Chandler. But uh, that was uh, what I do know is I'd like to have unsweet tea with it. You know, this sweet tea is something I'm not used to. But, you know, I've had some great barbecue. But, you know, I'm going to say North Carolina barbecue. All right. That's a good answer. <laughs> Mark Adams, EC Basketball Media Day 2023. We're glad to have you in Greenville, Coach. Yeah, thank you, Chandler. Appreciate it. God bless you. All right.